being in Houston in a dome, you know, the, the echo was, uh, it, it was loud in there. So, uh, you know, just communication is big in the outfield and, and, and coming here, obviously it's going to be loud. So, um, yeah, just communication is big. Parker, obviously you were sent down to AAA, you know, when you were at this ballpark earlier in the year. What does it mean to be back now in the playoffs? Yeah, it's kind of a full circle moment uh, for me, but uh, um, pretty surreal feeling uh, being here. You know, this year has been a roller coaster, uh, gone through some tough times, but um, in the end it's all kind of paid off and it's been a fun ride. The last few times you've made highlight catches, it seems like guys are doing, you know, a gesture with their hands on their way back off the field. How did that get started and how do guys feed off of that? I don't know. Uh, I think Matt Vierling started it, but uh, yeah, every time we see a nice play, we we give it one of these and um, you know get everybody going with it. Parker, it also seems like when you do make those catches, the offense really seizes the momentum in those situations. How much have you noticed that when you get back to the dugout, just capitalizing on some of those big catches? Yeah, it's definitely uh, helps the momentum for sure. Um, and you know, I've been, you know, trying to make plays um, the whole year for the team, and you know, you you see everybody else making plays, and um, you know, it's big for the team, and be able to come in the dugout, celebrate with the boys, and carry it into uh, us hitting um, definitely helps. Dating all the way back to West Michigan, you've been known as MLB ready and center for a long time. But I just wondered, how do you think you've improved under George? I've improved a lot under George. Um, he's he's a guy who's really passionate about getting us better. Um, and we show up every day and he's uh, wanting to do stuff with us or maybe he sees something uh, or hears something new and, and wants to introduce it to us. So uh, yeah, he's always throwing ideas out and um, He's been very helpful, helpful since the beginning, even with my uh, my jumps in the outfield when I first got here. Um, yeah, um, can't thank him enough. Yeah, I think practice is the main thing, and you know, carrying it over into uh, BP, taking BP serious, um, working on my jumps in, in those situations, the most game-like situation you can get. Uh, is batting practice. So, uh, yeah, I've just been doing that all year, and I feel I feel that I've uh, gotten better at it. You were talking jumps on the ball. I was thinking jumps up climbing the wall. Do you actually practice? I know, but you do it. Like, do you actually practice going up over a wall? Yeah, I, I uh, you know, uh, coming to all these stadiums, the the height of the wall is different, or you know, the dimensions are different. The warning tracks are smaller or bigger. Um, so yeah, you you know, like I said earlier in, in BP, you go out and you, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll act like I'm I'm robbing a home run just to just to see you know how high or if I can even cover the wall. So uh, yeah, BP for sure. What are some of the nuances of this ballpark that you have to be conscious of? Whether it's the high wall and left having to back up Riley, or just you know the higher wall maybe than than usual from what you might see in other parks? Um, it's definitely a, a weirder wall um, in, in left field. Um, you know, there's some angles where, uh, you know, we, we got to back each other up. Um, and especially coming from Houston, uh, you know, that outfield is a little crazy. So, um, you know, we've been doing it all year, and, and George has been big on that, just backing each other up and um, being smart in certain situations. Um, but, yeah, it's a, it's a bouncier wall too, so – uh, yeah, just keep backing each other up. But, you know, the catch in Houston wasn't at the ball, but the one in the ninth inning of game two, what was the trickiest part for you there, whether it was going back on the ball or trying to sense where the wall was? Yeah, that one hurt, first of all. Um, just having the, the the half wall and then the chain link, I th my hip crashed right into the wall. But, uh, yeah, I mean, all year it's it's been, you know, weird walls, but that goes back to just uh, getting a BP and, and – and knowing where it's at and, and the dimensions and, and all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, just trying to make a play uh, and was able to do it. And, yeah, it's fun. Parker, how much do you think defense could have an impact on this series, especially between two teams that put the ball in play quite a bit? Yeah, I mean, defense is huge. Um, 
I think, you know, as a team, we've been really good defensively and, um, you know, it, it has us in this spot we're in right now. So, uh, you know, we, we go out for ground balls or, or we take BP serious, you know, all that stuff uh, plays a factor in going out for the game and, and making the play, make, trying to make it easier uh, for us to, to make plays. And uh, the staff has really done a good job, you know, having us bought into defense. Um, what are your thoughts about tomorrow and getting the second straight start? Excited, you know, um, it's going to be a really fun atmosphere. You know, you can already tell, you can already feel being out there. Um, just, just excited, you know, hoping to get us off to a good start. The familiarity between these two teams, particularly with, with you guys and that Cleveland lineup, how does that play when you're going into a postseason series like this where every matchup is important and every at bat's important and you know that most likely you're going to see these guys more than once in a series for sure uh, I think you expect that you know going into a five game series you know there's going to be a lot of familiar matchups um, but I think every time that we play this team you know at home or on the road throughout the year uh, it's always good matchups you know it's always close games and I think just this this stage is going to you know magnify those moments so it's going to be a lot of fun Tyler, what's it been like to see so many other guys in your bullpen thrive in the second half? You know, guys like Hanafi and Herter and, and Madden who weren't here for most of the year. It's incredible. I mean, it's it's why we're here, you know, I think. You know, there's been a lot of young guys that stepped up in the second half, and um, that's that's the testament of, of why we are here in this moment. How does the extra off day between game one and game two affect you guys on the one hand I imagine any rest you guys can get is big but on the other hand since you guys have been thriving on adrenaline I imagine for so long is it a little bit of an interruption I don't think anything is going to be seen as an interruption you know for for this ball club but um definitely any any time that you can get some extra rest for arms I guess is beneficial but uh, I think everyone in the clubhouse is looking on the positive side of every opportunity, so it's definitely not going to hold us back. Yeah, I, I hope not to mess up this quote. AJ called you a strike zone bully or a bully in the strike zone or something like that earlier today, and I wondered what allow, or what allows you to be so effective in the strike zone? Just trust in my stuff, you know, go out there and, and trust it. And, you know, to me, I, I think it's nine versus one, you know, whenever you're out there on, on the mound. And so I'm just trying to use all of the strengths to, to my advantage and go out there and, you know, have fun. There's a lot of ways to get out. I think you pitched in that game in July 30th, last time you guys were here, and the team was on the brink of some trades, you know, under 500, or whatever. Where did you think the season was going at that point? I'm a guy that lives, you know, day by day, you know, and in, in this sport in particular, you've got a game pretty much every single day. So by no means was I looking at a big picture on July 31st or whatever it was. But um, for sure, just if I you said I opened that game or started that game. Yeah, yeah, OK, I was I was probably getting in the same mindset as I will be tonight and tomorrow, just going out there and doing my job. It's grown then over the last 40 some games or whatever. Where did you really feel like or believe that? this thing could be on the brink of something special. I've said it before, we had a comeback win in San Diego. Parker hit a grand slam in the top of the ninth inning, and, um, and, we, and we ended up winning that game you know, by one run. And that was, to me, that was whenever you were like, oh my gosh, you know, that was incredible. And I even heard, I think it was Dan Petrie had said, you know, we might be circling this game you know, in, in the near future of like, this is when you know, things started to go right, you know, that sort of thing. Um, but after that, definitely we strung a lot of wins together and the guys in the clubhouse just started to realize, you know, if we, if we, if we keep winning, you know, we're going to put ourselves in a really good position to, to be in contention for, you know, a wild card spot at the end of the year. And, and the guys kept their head down each and every day and found a way to win. It was a new hero every night. It was pretty awesome and it still is. So we're just riding that wave right now. And, you know, we got a game tomorrow and I'm going to go out there and try and win it. You've thrown in pretty much every situation imaginable, but was throwing the first inning, you know, of a postseason game on the road any different for you? 
Uh, mentally, it was not any different from my preparation, but it was very special. You know, I had family in attendance, and um, it was it was something that I will look back one day and be really thankful and 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 having that moment with them and celebrating with them after the game and whatnot. Just because that's the first time that I've had that many family being in attendance and watching me pitch. So that was that was special, but um, definitely hasn't quite hit me yet. You know, still have you know, more games ahead of us and whatnot, and hopefully the family can come out again and, and, and see us play some more baseball. But Did they know that I could? Yeah. I mean, we'll see. <laughs> it felt like with the pitching chaos A.J. talked about in Houston, a lot of it revolved around how you guys matched up for, you know, Tucker and Alvarez. How much different – of a matchup is this Cleveland lineup, particularly given the presence of Jose Ramirez up there and how he can hit? A pitcher's meeting, you know, it's been a couple months since we played this team, but as far as I remember, like they've got a lot of lefties and they have a, you know, a few switch hitters as well. And Jose Ramirez being right there in, in the middle of the lineup. And um, he's probably going to be the most important matchup. I know we had, you know, intentionally walked him in the past games and whatnot. And, but it, it's going to come down to, you know, just a, a few pitches in the game that's going to, you know, turn the direction their way or our way. So um, each and every pitch is going to have huge implications and don't know who's going to be in the game when those pitches come, but um, hopefully we're going to be coming out on top.